We're back on Farmer Maggot's farm. Howdy, um, we're going to continue making uh, Farmer Maggot's Farm, last time we looked at making all the fields and so forth, uh, in this one we're going to look at making the buildings, the structures, sort of the house, sort of added in some dog kennels for these dogs and some stables. Again this is taken from um, an article that was written, a written article on the main TLL, um, Tales of Middle Earth website. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go over how I made it visually, hopefully it'll make sense. Crack on. So the first thing we're going to make is the actual farmhouse itself, which kind of looks like this. Uh, you can see it, it's actually featured in the film. I've made mine so you can uh, get inside it, but I'm not going to cover that in this video, but you can do that if you want. I don't think I'd ever use the inside now, but it's just something I thought I'd add in. Uh, so yeah, let's go over making this. The first thing you want to do is uh, cut out the, rule, uh, the walls. Uh, we're going to make these from using foam core, uh, using the following dimensions. You can see here I've also worked out where I'm going to be putting my balsa wood planking. Uh, you're going to need two sort of front wall sections that, which are six and three quarter inches long by one and a quarter inches high. You're also going to need a base which is six and three quarters long and five inch wide and two pieces, two end pieces which are four and a quarter inches long and one and a quarter inches high. The windows are actually made from uh, overhead uh, projector acetate and I've made a template which you can download from the Facebook group and you just print this out onto it using a printer cut them out and you'll use these to glue into the windows so um, looking at a diagram again you can sort of roughly just roughly draw this sort of pattern onto the two uh, front and back walls uh, just however you like uh, and then um, cut out the doors and windows and then into the uh, windows just glue the uh, printed out acetate so you get this nice pattern. The timber beams are made from balsa wood sheets uh, of about two mil thick and they're about half inch um, wide the, uh, the actual strips. Um, use a metal rule to uh, cut the beams. Uh, they're attached using uh, PVA and then these are left to uh, dry. Uh, this has all been covered in other videos uh, if you look at the uh, more time battle company's board you see i do a lot of planking on that and you just used craft knife just to nick the edges just to give a, a, a weather effect to them the doors are made from slightly thicker balsa wood sheets and they're just cut in a circle and glued in uh, i hinged mine but you don't have to and the the doorknob is just made from a uh, a pin a drawing pin with a round top that you can get from various uh, stationery shops. You just use some pliers and cut the actual pin off and then just glue these on. Uh, the brickwork pattern at the bottom here is just made from some uh, wheels uh, textured plastic card. If you look at the uh, more time video you can see I use a different pattern but you can see I use that there for the bottom bits and the more time boards. The roof uh, is just made from uh, white polystyrene, I uh, painted it black here, and its its dimensions, I've included the diagram here, it's uh, made two and a quarter inches high, and the length of it is seven and a quarter inches, and it's five uh, inches thick, and you're just going to have to sort of sculpt it so it's uh, curved along here slightly curved here, slightly curved here, and then you've just got to 
cut this undulating sort of hump into it using a hot wire cutter. Uh, to get this uh, straw effect, this is just teddy bear fur. You just cut a sheet out uh, and glue it on and leave that to dry. And once it's glued on, you just get some watered PVA using a mix of sort of 75% PVA and 25% water. And you just get an old uh, toothbrush and you just sort of drag down in the same direction. So I'm starting from the bottom is the best way and then do a, a layer up and a layer up and a layer up and then you just leave that to dry, put that to one side to dry. Uh, once it's dried I just cut out some out of cereal box cards, some tiles, sort of curved them a little bit and glued these on and put that to one side. The chimney is um, made from uh, <coughs> uh, extruded polystyrene, so it's the uh, pink stuff. Uh, again, just cut it, sort of eyeballed it and cut it to size. So this bit here just goes up to the top of the wall, angled in, and then you have a chimney, about an inch and a quarter thick there, and about two inches thick here. And then you just using a ballpoint pen, carve a uh, brickwork pattern into it. And this is just glued in. From here, really, it's pretty much done. You just uh, paint it all, undercoat it all in black. Don't spray it because it's foam. Um, the uh, <coughs> walls are undercoated in, um, well, when I've done it, it was called Steel Legion Drab, but I've, it still is now Steel Legion Drab, isn't it? Yes, uh, so I must. Yeah, still leading. I forget what it's called now. Snake bite originally, but it's still leading drab. Dry brush with carrick stone and then a little light dry brushing of usapi bone. The beams are painted using uh, rhinox hide and then dry brushed using still legion drab. It weathers it and sort of makes it not look so brown, gives it a bit of a grey brown look. Uh, the bricks were uh, base coated in carrick stone. Um, so this would be so you could see the mortar affecting and then dry brush using a uh, doom bell brown uh, the doors were painted corn red and then dry brush with was was daca red the roof we paint it in black uh, dry brush and rhinoxide then you give it a dry brush of baylor brown zamzi desert and then a final sort of light highlight of usapi bone chimneys Dawnstone and then dry brush with carrick stone and then a little highlight dry brush of usapi bone and that is it Farmer maggot has three dogs. So I thought I'd make them a little dog kennel. We've got this here. So that's what we're gonna look at making next um, It's quite a simple uh, thing to build actually because it's just made from uh, white polystyrene and so all we do is just cut a lump of polystyrene out, uh, seven inches long, four inches wide, and two inches high, and then you just sort of sculpt it using a hot wire cutter into like a hill shape. Uh, then I just cut out three little openings here. You can see how they look down. Just don't go all the way down. Just three in there. Cover the front in balsa wood sheet. You can use this as a sort of template to draw around. And then I undercoated it in uh, in black. And then underneath here, these bits here are painted using Sterling Mud texture paint for the dog holes. Uh, this was painted using the same method as the house itself. So it's a uh, Rhinox High and Steel Legion Drab. Uh, then painted brown onto the hill itself. And then just undercoated it in, um, or undercoated it, put, put green flock on it. And then just use some uh, clump foliage on here. Some of this grass matting I had just to give some sort of long wild grass. And I had a little woodland sinks tree just that I wasn't using, so I just stuck that on top, like so. So, being as a farmer, he's going to have some sort of horses and so forth. He has a horse and cart that he take, rides around. So. I'd also create some stables, which look like this. These are made from uh, foam core. Uh, I've got the dimensions on the screen here. 
You can have four uh, of these end pieces, which are cut to the dimensions on the screen. Um, three uh, squares, which are going to form these back bits here. And uh, then you're going to get some balsa wood and make a long strip, dimensions on here. And the gates are also made from balsa wood, about four mil thick. So you're going to need six of these if you want to get inside, like I've done mine here. Um, you take the four walls here and glue the three back pieces in between them. I don't know if you can see that here. Uh, you then glue the balsa wood beam across, which acts as a bit of a bit of strength. And then I've got a little balsa wood dowel rod in here. And the balsa wood had cardboard hinges attached to them at the back right here. And you just fold that over and glue it in so you can open them. And that's pretty much how to make how you make it. I based it on a cork tile, but you can base it on anything you'd you'd wish. A bit of foam core if you want or something like that and that is pretty much it it looks more complex than what it is it's then just clad in the same plastic card texture that I used on the farm the roof is just made from cardboard so you just measure that there and that there with a little bit of overhang and cut that out on card fold it over and then it's just covered in teddy bear fur much the same way as farmer maggots how the walls are just dry brushed the same way as the chimney so it's dawnstone carrick stone usabi bone and the roof is the same way as the house so he's going to have an outer wall which we've already made in previous videos but he's going to need a little little gate to get in there so i'm assuming it's going to be a, a round gate to match hobbits and this is quite simple to make so to make this uh, it's made from uh, balsa wood and I used a cavalry base just draw around the circle around this and the balls on a piece of balsa wood that's about five to six mil thick and I cut this out and then just using a ballpoint pen uh, drew ho a horizontal plank design in it and then I cut this in half I then uh, used a uh, piece of, sort of almost half inch thick dowel rod um, that's about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half high. The, the, used this for the side post uh, and then it, the gates were hinged using a cereal box card and the uh, top of the um, gates were just uh, had a, uh, a pin, a rounded pin stuck onto them and then it was just based on a bit of thick uh, mounting card um, I then put some modeling sand around the on the base and then undercoated the entire piece uh, black the wood was painted uh, using the same method as we've already covered for this project and the door was just painted green and then given a sort of it's dark angels green at the time which I forget what it is now uh, Caliban green, I think, painted that and then given a bit of weathering dry brush. Uh, and then I just applied flocks and clump foliage around it. And that is the uh, the gate made. And in fact, that's the entire uh, Farmer Maggots project made. So uh, that is it for this project. I um, apologize once more for it being all pre made, but I made this years ago. But I thought I'd make these videos just to go over to give you some ideas. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Until next time, take care.